What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 12th Angular 2 tutorial in which we'll be learning about something known as ng if in Angular 2. Well, this is a sweet directive you can say which you can add to any HTML tag or you know you would just it would just allow you to compare a bunch of stuff and just do some conditional coding. So well, before even starting with this tutorial, I would just like to get rid of some of the code right here. I'm just going to get rid of this directive, some styles. Let's just get rid of this as well. Then again, let's just exclude this. We don't need this anymore. And yeah, as you can see, I have just separated the JS compiled files in another folder. And to do that, just delete all of your JS files from this folder which you had in app1. And... Uh, just go to this tsconfig.json and add this line. Out directory is app slash js. What this would do is that this is the configuration file of the TypeScript. So once your files are compiled by TypeScript, they would output the compiled files in this particular directory. So this is my app js. And once you are done with this line, then go ahead in your index.html and change this system import app slash main to app slash js slash main and you'll be good to go so in my component dot index dot ts <clears throat> all right let's just say we have um, some particular sort of movies which are you know just available for the premium users uh, let's just say this is a div you are not eligible for this movie or this movie is restricted for you or whatever you don't you get the idea so if I look in the browser right now as you can see this shows this message to everybody on the website well you won't like that you would like to have a particular sort of category uh, of users which can see this message so let's just write an ng if statement and write a star ng if and what the star means is that whenever you see a star and then a directive name that means that you know just this HTML particularly throws the control to angular 2 and angular therefore then evaluates what has to be done with this div actually so whatever inside there is angular would determine if this condition is true or not and therefore it would just throw or basically just you know just decide whether this div should be displayed or not let me just show you an example so let's just say I say if one equals one well this is obviously true so you can see that it shows me this message but if I change this to two and reload this as you can see the message disappears and in the HTML also this is not there so angular 2 determines that this condition is false therefore this div would not be displayed so this div would only be displayed when the condition inside here is true again you can just make use of the greater than or less than operators as you can see this condition is false and this one is true so this is displayed well again to make it a bit more realistic you can just say ng if if premium account equals true and since we don't have any premium account variable right now what you can do is just write premium account is equal to true here or you can just write a public here keyword as well it doesn't matter because by default the variables would be public only so if I just get rid of that public and write just premium account true you can see we get this message so if I just change this to false you see that we don't get the message so this is quite useful when you'll be just learning about the click events so you can just make use of the click events to display a div or a block of you know HTML code on your website like you have you can have a tabbed menu when you click on that tabbed menu then you can change the you know the state of the tab right here inside this ng if then you can compare that if ng if the tab active is one or two or three or ID whatever so we'll be looking on that and this was a quick tutorial to get started with ng if so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial 
we'll be looking at some more interesting things in angular 2 so don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and thank you for watching